set up. So first we got the caterpillars. We also got milkweed. We put the caterpillars in containers with the milkweed. We also had a place for the jays, chrysalis, and butterflies. We also had to clean the milkweed before we put it in containers with the caterpillars. We only put two caterpillars in each container. If you try this at home, you should make sure you have the proper setup. Egg. The egg of a monarch caterpillar is no bigger than the head of a pin. Over a course of days, it changes from yellow to clear. When it's fully clear, it hatches, which takes a matter of five minutes. The egg must be laid on a poisonous milkweed leaf and sheltered. The leaf must be healthy and free of dangers like predators. Little Caterpillars When the caterpillars were little, everything they did was little. We observed that they were about only the size of a centimeter. Their colors were faint and their stripes were hard to see. The holes in the milkweed were super tiny. Their grass was like a speck of brown. The little caterpillars were very small and were hard to find in all the milkweed. Big Caterpillars Caterpillars grow very fast. Big caterpillars eat a lot of food. As they grow, their frass gets bigger. The frass is their poop. It's tiny at first, but it gets bigger the more they eat. An average amount of milkweed that a caterpillar eats in his life is about 20 to 30 leaves, about one whole plant. In 14 days, they are 3,000 times the weight and 25 times longer than when they were hatched. Big caterpillar. When the big caterpillar has grown all the way, all of its colors, yellow, black, and white, are very bright. They grow really, really fast. Their skin is kind of weird but cool at the same time. When they are molting, there is a line all the way down their body. After the molting, they eat their skin that came off. Walkabout. The walkabout starts when the caterpillar tries to find a strong place to make a jay. For the J form, they walk all around to find a strong place to form a J. It uses its crochets on the inside of its back legs to latch on tightly to its silk button. The cray master is formed in the J form. The order of the walkabout is the J, then the silk button, and last the cray master. Pupa. The pupa is the third stage in the life cycle of all butterflies. To reach the pupa stage, the caterpillar must split its skin while hanging in a J formation. Then, the pupa hardens and turns a bright shade of green. Next, the pupa turns dark. Some people say it turns blue, but we did not see this. When the butterfly is ready to emerge, the chrysalis will turn completely transparent. You will be able to see the brand new orange and black butterfly. Emergence. The newly formed butterfly pushes itself out of the chrysalis. The butterfly's wings are weak and wet. It somersaults out. It hangs onto the chrysalis. The butterfly has the hooked toes to help hang on. The butterfly has liquid in its body. It pumps the liquid into its veins. The, its wings will get bigger. Then uh, the liquid will go out of its body and the veins will be hollow. It also swings back and forth to dry its wings. About butterflies' most important body parts is their wings. They have four wings and they use them to fly. Their proboscis is their mouth. It's a tube-like thing. Monarchs gnaw their antennae and eat with their proboscis. The part that holds everything together is their body. It's black and kind of thick. All of these body parts have an important job. They all resolve in a beautiful monarch butterfly. Butterflies. The monarch butterflies eat nectar from flowers with their proboscis that unrolls and sucks the nectar. The monarchs are a huge help to us. Butterflies spread pollen. Pollen sticks to their feet. The pollen helps make new plants. But, uh, but butterflies and other pollinators must spread pollen in order to have the flowers. The butterflies love watermelon. They also love flowers. Butterfly. A monarch butterfly's wings are orange and black. Male monarchs have a dark dot on each of its hind wings. The dark dots are made out of silk scales. Female monarchs don't have any dark dots. Monarchs also have white dots on the edges of their wings.
tagging. This is why you tag a monarch and what is on the tag. At first, scientists did not know that monarch butterflies migrate. Scientists then tagged the monarchs and found out they migrated to Mexico. On the tag, there is a number to identify it and a phone number to call. There is a paper my teacher turned in with the information about the tag butterfly. It tells if it's a girl or a boy raised in captivity or not, where it was raised, and the date it was let out. My teacher can check on her computer if one of our monarchs were found. When the monarchs become butterflies, they are beautiful, so we had a parade for them. We put them into a butterfly tent. We walked through second grade to third grade. They walked with us. They liked it. We walked. We also made paper butterflies. We carried instruments. We also went outside. Release. When we went outside, the third graders followed us to the garden. We, when we got there, Sam and Griffin were setting them free. The teacher put some Capri Sun on Sam's and Griffin's hands. So when we release them, they will go on their hands for a little bit. When we release them, they followed us around. And one of the butterflies landed on Griffin's hand. Then it flew away. One of them landed on the Stations of the Cross, and the other flew straight towards Mexico. Then the other flew on a bush for a little while. Then it flew straight to Mexico. Migration. Every single breed of butterfly has to migrate to survive. The weather for them gets too cold, and if they don't migrate, they'll die from freezing. Monarchs mostly fly to Mexico. It depends on which side of the Rocky Mountains they live. East of the Rocky Mountains, they fly to central Mexico. On the west, they fly to California. Monarchs fly in the day but sleep at night. When bad storms come upon them, they take shelter in the trees. Monarchs can't fly for a long stretch of time. They glide on warm gusts of wind. Migration is very fascinating. Dangers. There are many dangers to monarchs. If a butterfly leans in a garden with pesticide, it will get harmed. Animals like birds will eat butterflies and caterpillars. Whenever there is harsh weather and they don't find shelter, the butterflies will get blown away. The butterflies can only fly if it's 55 degrees or more. Milkweed. So many in Insects depend on milkweed for food. It has poison in it. The poison helps the monarch predators away from them. Milkweed seeds spread through the wind. The, the sap has poison in it called cardiac goliathides. Even after the caterpillar has changed into an adult butterfly, it keeps the goliathides in its body. The flower nectar and pollen does not have glyphosate in it, so bees and other insects don't become poisonous. Milkweed is a shelter for and hiding place for other species as well. Milkweed flowers bloom throughout the summer and are a pinkish purple in the fall. The pods open up like dandelions. Their seeds spread in the wind. In the spring, those seeds sprout. Conservation. Pesticides are things that go on plants or grass, and usually farmers use it to kill bugs that eat their plants. Milkweed is not everywhere, and not only do caterpillars eat it, other bugs eat it too, so there is not much milkweed around. People cut down the roosting trees, so that's why there's not much roosting trees around. Not most teachers teach about conservation through education, but at least the kids could get books. If you know, why don't teach you teach your friends or relatives? We did a life cycle book on monarchs. We learned about the egg, caterpillar, pupa, butterfly, milkweed, and migration. We learned with the size 
placement and color of the agar and the body parts food molting and jay for the caterpillar we learned about pupa color changes and trimester and butterfly colors boy girl food emergence and body parts we also wrote about milkweed description for each season and why monarch caterpillars eat it we learned about migration and why and where monarchs migrate. We use lots of books to research all that. Journals. Every week we observed our caterpillars, pupas, and butterflies. We measured the length, found out how many were living, and just peeked inside to see what they were doing. The first thing we did was looked inside the tent to see what was happening. Then we took our paper and wrote about what we saw. We did about seven journals on what happened each day. It was exciting to observe the tent. As we saw and learned more about caterpillars and butterflies, we cared for them more and loved them more. With a microscope, you can see small stuff that you find in the world that's hard to see. It is hard to see face mask from a caterpillar's head and scales of a butterfly's wings just with, the, with your bare eyes. So you need a microscope to see the scales on the butterfly wings. You can also try to take a milkweed and try to find a, a, a caterpillar monarch egg on it. Why monarchs? We picked monarchs because overall they're beautiful creatures. They're just breathtaking to look at. Plus they are an endangered species and that affects all the animals in the food chain including humans. They are called pounders. They drink the nectar out of the flowers to eat. They carry pollen to other flowers. They are one of the animals who other animals mimic. The colors on the butterfly's wings are poisonous.